The first people to use the word pragmatic in relation to trials were Schwartz and Alouche in a paper in 1967. And they argued that most trialists um, didn't really think about the type of trial that they were trying to design. And in that paper, they make a distinction between what they call pragmatic trials, which are designed to um, answer a question about decision-making in clinical care. What sort of care should we give to patients? And explanatory trials, which are designed to answer a question about causal research hypotheses, about biological processes, chemical processes that are going on. Um, and what they argue is that most trials are designed in a sort of explanatory way, but actually many of them ought to be designed to answer the pragmatic question about what sort of um, clinical care patients need. About 30 years later, uh, there was a paper written in the BMJ where they express it slightly differently, but it's the same sort of idea that pragmatic trials are those trials conducted in real um, in the real world or in routine clinical care, whereas explanatory trials are trials conducted under ideal conditions. So another way of thinking about that is to say an explanatory trial is asking, could this um, intervention possibly work in, in very tightly controlled ideal conditions? Um, whereas a pragmatic trial asks the question, could this intervention work if it's rolled out into the real world? So um, very often, or, or um, People think of trials as drug trials, and in fact, if you read Swartz and Luce's paper, that's what they're talking about, really, drug trials. But if you think about the way that they define a trial, a pragmatic trial, to try and decide between care options, then in fact that could be any sort of intervention. It need not necessarily be um, a drug. So, for example, a reorganisation of the health service or education to patients, any of those things um, could be evaluated in a pragmatic trial. Um, so, I mean, Swartz and Lucia's paper was written about 50 years ago, and uh, the paper in the BMJ by um, Martin Rowland and David Torgerson was written in uh, 30 years after that, so 20 years ago. But I think those two papers really give us the best um, idea of what these trials are, because they pick up on two things. One, the, um, the aim of the trial. Uh, pragmatic trial is trying to answer a question about what happens in the real world and also the difference between the two trials in, in um, Roland and Torgerson's paper about the setting is really important. It's a real world setting in a pragmatic trial whereas in an explanatory trial the setting is less important.